Hi friends, this is Jyotsna. Today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic that is triangles. Okay, in this video we will discuss what is a triangle, how many types of triangles are there according to their size and according to their angles and some properties of triangles. Okay, now first let's see a basic a basics of triangles. Yes, see this is a triangle. So what is a triangle? A triangle means a simple closed figure bounded by three line segments. Yes. So a simple closed figure means the starting point and the ending point should be at the same. So if it is like this, means the starting point is in here and the ending point is a different place. So then that is not called as a closed figure. Okay. This is a closed figure, this is a closed figure. So triangle is a closed figure because the starting point and the ending point are the same. So a simple closed figure bounded by three line segments. It is bounded by three line segments. Yes. So that is called as a triangle. Okay. This is a triangle. And this is, this triangle is denoted by a Greek letter that is this thing. A small triangle that's it. Okay, so simple. Now this is the uh, a Greek uh, letter that denotes a triangle. Okay, some basics. Uh, see, we already know we have learned when we are small only that is the a triangle have three vertexes. This thing there is a, this is b, and this is c. Three vertexes a triangle have, and a three angles a triangle have. Like this, this is an angle, this is an angle, this is, and three sides an angle have. That is a b. BC and CA. These are the three sides that, that a triangle has. And a triangle also has three angles. That is angle A, angle B and angle C. These are the three angles and three sides. So already I have told you first only that we will also discuss about some types of triangles according to their sides and according to their angles also. So now first let's see according to the sides. Okay. Types of triangles according to their okay according to their sides. So first we will be uh, so we will see about this uh, types of triangles according to their sides. So in the types of uh, triangles according to their sides, we have three types. Okay, three types. We have three types. Okay, the first type is equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle. Yeah, by seeing this only we can get, by listening this only we can get that equilateral means the three sides of a triangle are equal only. That is C. A triangle, a triangle, those three sides, this, 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 these three sides are, are equal. If, uh, if you take this is 3 cm, this will be also 3 cm and this will be also 3 cm only. Okay, that is, here I am taking this example only, that is AB. AB, AB side is equals to BC side. AB side is equals to BC side and BC side is equals to CA side. Like this. Okay. And next uh, type of a triangle is isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle. Isosceles triangle means the triangle whose any two sides, any two sides or if you take this triangle then the, these two sides can be equal or these two sides or these two sides. Any two sides of the triangle are equal, are equal. Then that triangle is called the isosceles triangle. Okay, that is any two sides. Let's think this and this side. This and this side are equal. Then that uh, triangle is called as the isosceles triangle. We can write that AB, line, AB side is equal to AB side is equals to what? AC side, no? AC side. But AC side is not equals to BC side. 
BC cell. Okay, this is. Now, the third type is skeletal triangle. Skeletal triangle. Okay, skeletal triangle means the sides. The sides of the, the sides of a triangle, three sides are different only. Okay, if you take this triangle, this side is different from this side, this side is different from this side. So, three sides are different from each other. That is, from uh, some other are uh, there in everyone, every side is different, different length, every side has. Then, AB, we can write AB is not equal to AC. Yes, AB is not equal to BC. And BC is also not equal to AC. So this is, yeah. So the three sides of the triangle are not equal. So these are the three types of triangles according to their sides. These are according to their sides. And there are uh, types of triangles according to their angles also. So see, types of triangles, types of triangles. Okay, types of types of triangles according according to their their angles. Yeah, here we have seen the types of triangles according to their size. Now we will see according to their angles. Yeah, here also we have three types. Okay, three types. One, two. We have three types. Okay, the first type of triangle is acute angled triangle. Acute angled triangle. Acute angled triangle. Acute angle. We already learned about angles, yes? Acute angle means the angle whose measure is less than 90 degree, yes? So, acute angled triangle means in a triangle, the angles, the angles whose measure is less than 90 degree, then that triangle, the three angles should be less than 90. Then that triangle is called as an acute angled triangle. This three sides like this. It is also an acute and this is also an acute. This is also an acute. See, three sides of a triangle are, three angles of a triangle are acute only. Then this triangle is called as an acute angled triangle. Okay? Okay, acute angle triangle. That means the three sides or the three angles of a triangle are acute only. Means less than 90. Less than 90 degree. Okay. And next, this is the first type of triangle. And next type of triangle is right angled triangle. Right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Already we know what is right angle. Right angle means exactly 90 degree. Yes, means it is uh, is equal to 90 degree. That is, um, see remember one thing, in a triangle only one right angle can be there. I am taking this. If I join these two, then we get a right angle triangle. Here we have, that is, this is a right angle triangle. Like this. Yes. So, this is a right angle triangle. And if you already know, that is, these two are, means a uh, this triangle, right angle triangle is exactly 90 degree. Okay, exactly 90 degree it should be. And acute angle means that that should be less than 90 degree. Okay, this is uh, these two types. And now we will go to the third type. That is obtuse angle triangle. Okay, obtuse angle triangle. We have already learned. Yeah, what is a pure triangle? Obtuse means greater than 90 and less than 180. Here we don't want 180, we just want 90. Okay, it should be the angle, the measure of the angle, any one angle. Okay, right angle and obtuse angle in a triangle should be only one. Okay, right angle only one and an obtuse angle is also only one. So, then if a triangle has an obtuse angle, then that uh, triangle is called as an obtuse angle triangle. Like this, see, it should be greater than 90. Yes, this is, this is greater than 90, no? So, this is an obtuse angle triangle that is greater than 90 degree. Like this. Okay, 
obtuse angle triangle means greater than 90 degree any one angle measure whose is greater than 90 degree then that angle that triangle is called as an obtuse angle triangle okay these are the types of triangles according to their size and according to their angles yes we have learned two basics and then now let's go to the third that is median okay median so what is median median by listening this only we can get okay median means middle middle median middle yeah so i am taking an example to show that see if there is a triangle like this if there is a triangle like this then this triangle middle uh, so the so the median median means that is a line segment okay so in the triangle median means a line segment that is joined to the any vertex of a triangle and it uh, comes to the midpoint of the opposite side so let's take this is the vertex i am naming it as a b c okay i am taking the vertex a and the line segment should be joining the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side so this is the vertex and the opposite side is this so the midpoint is we have to attach join them that is this these two so this line this line is called as the median median means the line segment joining the vertex and the midpoint of the opposite side just like that's it so simple to remember also just that is a line segment a line segment passes pa uh, joining the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side then that line segment is called as the median that's it so uh, how many medians can be drawn in a triangle so i have already told that a median means that is joined to vertex yes here one vertex one median has been come so here we have a vertex and we have drawn a me, uh, median then if we have in a triangle we have three vertices then we can draw three medians that's it yes we can draw three medians so we have drawn one median this is one median and the other median okay like this so you got it i think that means in a triangle three medians can be constructed like this okay from um, many vertices it is there yes from three, three vertices from three vertices vertices we can draw three medians okay so um so the midpoint here a point is uh, constructed see this one the midpoint so the medians are coming and joining one at one place so that point is uh, so already we have learned that any three or more three three or more line segment lines or line segments joining passes through a same single point then that point is called as cross uh, congruent point congruency point the point of congruency or the congruency point so here also the three uh, medians are passing so this is called as the congruence uh, the point of congruency but if three line segments or lines are passing then that is called as the point of congruency but if three medians are passing through a sim single point then that point is not called as a point of congruency and that is called as the centroid okay centroid that is called as the centroid centroid means center centroid means center just remember that means the center of the uh, the point that three medians join at a place three medians join at a point that point is called as the centroid not the point of congruency okay this is what median means okay median means the line segment joining the vertex to the opposite to the midpoint of the opposite side that's it this is median and next is altitude altitude so what is altitude altitude also for altitude also i'm taking an example see this is a triangle not triangle okay this is a triangle 
So in this triangle, I am naming it as A, B, C. In this triangle, there are three vertexes. So all of us know the perpendicular. Perpen perpendicular. That means uh, it is perpendicular. That means a line segment that uh, constructs a 90 degree at the bottom or the base. Yes. So that is called as the perpendicular. Just like that, altitude or perpendicular are same only. Are same. Just so this is a obtuse angle triangle. Yes, that means it is greater than 90 degree. Yes, it is not 90 degree. It is greater than 90 degree. So this is an obtuse angle triangle. So it it should be gone as straight. It doesn't go. It doesn't go to the midpoint of the opposite side. It goes to the. It goes uh, a straight line to construct a 90 degree. 90 degree angle. Okay, this is a 90 degree. 90 degree means what? Perpendicular. Perpendicular or altitude are the same only. Means which you construct a 90 degree between uh, there. That is called as the altitude or the perpendicular. Okay, not only one uh, from the one vertex, it can go to the three vertexes also. It can come from the three vertexes also. Here I have took only the vertex A. Now I can take vertex B also. Three, three altitudes. Vertex B should go straight. Then here we get L. 90 degree like this yes then this is also called the perpendicular and next is here C it is like this it is also meeting the same point which do those two are meeting yes so see B uh, altitude B or uh, perpendicular B is meeting A on here then uh, C L, perpendicular or altitude C is also meeting at, a, the, at the same point. So that point, so the mid point where the three altitudes are meeting is called as the orthocenter. Orthocenter. Okay, orthocenter means any three altitude, uh, means a three altitudes meeting, meeting. So joining or meeting. So that uh, point where the joint is called as the ortho center, that center. Okay, this is what altitude. Altitude means the line segment that is coming from the vertex uh, to construct a 90 degree. So that line segment is called as the altitude. Okay, altitude and median. Difference is many more, much more, no? Here it is dividing equally and here it is creating a 90 degree. Yes? So these are, this is a different and here we have different, different names to these two. That is centroid and orthocenter. This is called as orthocenter. That is centroid. Okay? Here are the types of, uh, types of triangles according to their side. That is equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle and scalar triangle. And here is types of tri triangles according to their angles. That is acute angle triangle, right angle triangle, and obtuse angle triangle. And next is here we have basics. These are all the basics. So next, now we will learn about and uh, some properties, some properties of triangles. Okay, now let's see some properties of triangles. So now let's see our first property. Okay, that is angle sum, angle sum property okay angle sum property so if you uh, tell this only then you can get that the sum of the angles yes angle sum sum of the angles yeah you are guessing the correct thing that we have to do the sum of the angles if you take a triangle if you consider a triangle a b c okay i'm considering a triangle a b c so in this triangle there are three angles okay the sum of the angles no in the pro property only it is given that angle sum so the sum of the angles these three sum that is angle a here we have three three angles angle a angle b angle c so the sum of these three angles that is c angle a plus angle b plus angle c okay 
So the property is that when we add the angles which are given, so that should be always 180 degree. Okay, the sum of any three angles, so, so of a triangle, then the sum should be always 180 degree is always in 180 degree. Here I have taken an isosceles triangle. Not only isosceles, if a right angle triangle or an obtuse angle triangle, any triangle, the sum of the three angles is always 180 degree. So if we take an example, see, see, uh, if we take an example here, the angle B is given, that is 40, I think, and angle C is also given, that is 20. So this property is used to find the um, find the angle that is remaining that we want to find. If we near question the B angle B and angle C are given and they are told to find the angle A. Then how will you find? By using this angle sum property. Means when we add uh, these three angles that is angle A, angle B and angle C we will get 120. We will equal it to 120. Let us see angle A here it is angle A plus angle B plus angle C. Then angle A we don't know. Then write angle A only plus angle B we have that is 40 degree. Write 40 degree plus angle C is 20 degree. Write 20 degree. That is, is equals to 180 degree. Okay. Here we have to use the same formula. Angle A we don't know. Angle B is 40 degree and angle C is 20 degree. So we have to add these two. Yes. That is Angle A plus 40 plus 20 is 60. Yes, right. 60 is equals to 180. Angle A plus 60 is equals to 180. Now, the next step is angle A is equals to, we have to translate. No, translation we already know. Translation means if it is in the addition, then when we take this side, then it will be subtraction. Yes, so 180 minus 60 degree. 180 minus 60 is? That is angle A is equals to how much 180 minus 60? That is 120. 120 degrees will be the answer. So the angle, so this angle A, angle A is 120 degree that we got. So this is how we use this property. That is angle sum property. So this, this is how we use this angle sum property. So this is the first property of triangles. By using this, you can find the, any angle of the triangle that we don't know. That, uh, that is uh, given the question to find out. Okay. By equating with 180. So, this is the first property. And the second property, if, we go, if you understand, um, then let's go to the second. That is exterior angle property. Okay, exterior angle property. So, here though we know angle and also sum. So, we have guessed that when we do the sum of the angles, then we will get 180, we, will, we have got it. But exterior, so what is exterior? So, see, exterior means in a triangle. Okay, in a triangle, this all part, if, uh, if in this triangle, any two circles are given. Okay, in this triangle, any two circles are given. And uh, they are asking that, um, let's take, keep a name for them. That is, A and B are saying, A and B are written in the, in the triangle. Then that, that uh, if they are asking that, where, is, where are A and B? Then we will tell that we are in the interior. Interior means the inside the triangle. So the inside the triangle, the part, so the, so the place inside the triangle, that all place is called as the interior of the triangle. Exterior means the outside, this all, this all, this all. And uh, any dots are keep, kept also. If this is dot D, this is dot F, G, H. Then these all, then if they are asking that where is dot F, then we will say that it is in the exterior of the triangle. That's it. So, there is how. This is exterior. Exterior means outside of the triangle. So, now we will see the exterior angle property. Exterior angle property means um, uh, nothing that's so easy. See, exterior angle property means I am taking an example. I am taking a triangle, considering a triangle like this. 
This is C. This is uh, I'm naming it. Okay, A B C and B C is extended to uh, D. Okay, B C is uh, uh, produced to D or extended to D. Then here it is. Uh, this line is extended or produced, and this is a triangle A B C. Yes. So this angle. Yes. This angle A C D is the exterior of the triangle A B C. You understood? Exterior means we. Uh, I have. I have now told now only that the outside of the triangle. This is the inside of the triangle. So the outside of the triangle, this whole part, is called as the exterior. So this angle here, we don't want the point or the line. We want the angle. So the, this angle is called as the exterior angle. So that is the property is that. See. The exterior angle, okay. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Okay, I have already told what is what are interior and exterior. Interior means the inside. This all part is called the interior, and the exterior means the outside part of the triangle. Yes, that is the exterior and interior. So here, if we want any three of them, that is the opposite sides of the sides of the interior angle. Or the exterior angle, we can use this exterior angle property easily. Just you have to remember that that the exterior part of exterior angle, exterior angle is equal to the uh, opposite sides of the opposite side of the interior angles, opposite side of the interior angles. That is angle C. Yes, angle A C D. Angle A C D. Is equals to what is the sum? That is angle A plus angle B. These are the two opposite angles for this exterior angle, and these are also uh, opposite to each other. And uh, that is exterior opposite angle should be also sum. It should be the equal. That is A and B sum. So angle A C D is equals to angle A plus angle B. That's it. So. so you can understand by seeing that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the in the in opposite side of the opposite side of the interior angles yeah the exterior angle the uh, so the exterior angle is equal to the opposite side of the interior angle so for this exterior angle the opposite side is this side so the interior angles here is A and B, yeah. So the sum of these two angles is equal to the sum is equal to this exterior angle. That's it. That's so so simple. That just you have to remember means uh, according to that name you can take that angle C is equal to angle A plus angle B. You can take like that. Okay. Now this is the exterior angle property. So I'm taking an example if. We don't know the exterior angle. Okay, we don't know exterior angle in the question that is given to find the exterior angle, and in the question it is also given that angle A is forty degree. Okay, angle A is forty degree, and angle B let's think that's sixty degree. Okay, angle A is forty degree and angle B is sixty degree. Here they are told to find the exterior angle. So how to find? See. I have already told ACD the angle ACD this thing. So just write if you don't know, so write ACD only angle ACD is equals to angle A. We know that is forty degree, right? Forty degree plus angle B. Angle B is sixty degree. It is given only sixty degree. So when we add these two angles, that is forty plus sixty is that is hundred ACD. Yeah, ACD is equal to hundred, hundred degree, hundred. So the angle here it is here. This angle ACD. So this angle is hundred degree. We got it. Okay. This um, property we will use like this. Okay. So the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite side, the sum of opposite, the opposite side angle sum, interior angle sum. So this is the exterior angle property and the angle sum property. Okay. 
these are the two properties and now we will see about a theorem okay that is so important in this chapter we will learn about it now